Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I will discuss a JP Morgan interview question, which is a quant interview question. As you all know, on this channel, we cover different type of interview question asked in various placement and job interview. So consider subscribing to our channel if you are preparing for one. Today's question is a probability question, right? This is also a very famous question and has been asked so many times this year. So let's understand what is that question. Suppose there are two numbers A and B and both of these numbers lie between 0 to 1. What is the probability that division of the number that is A by B lies between 1 and 2? This is the question. I hope you have understood the question. Let's see how we can go about this. But before that, find out our ebook on quant interview question which have recently been asked in top firms. Please find the link in the description box or from the pinned comment. It will be very beneficial for you. Now back to the question. Let's assume that A is the random variable which is between 0 to 1 and B is the another random variable which is also between 0 to 1. Why? Because in the question it has given that two number A and B are lying between 0 to 1. Right? Now when we divide it, we got another number which is A by B and it is given that A by B lies between 1 and 2. Right? This means that A has to be greater than B and A has to be less than 2B. This is the derived equation which we got from the condition that is given in the question, right? It is pretty simple. Now from here, what we will do? We will just plot a graph. A and B are the two axes. A and B are the two axes. And because A and B lie between 0 to 1, so the entire square is covered because A lies between 0 to 1 and B lies or B also lies between 0 to 1. But we have two other conditions as well, which are a greater than B and A less than 2B, which we derived on the earlier page, right? And according to the given conditions, this is the blue area which will be covered, right? It is the intersection of all the conditions for which we want to calculate the probability. Now, what we will do, we will just calculate the area of this blue triangle, right? This area of blue segment and the total area we already know. The probability will be area of the blue segment divided by total area. Right? And this will come out to be 1 by 4. So the probability of A by B lies between 1 and 2 is 1 by 4. I hope you have learned something new from this video. I will meet you on to the next one. Till then keep learning and keep watching.